Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import customers list from Excel spreadsheet to QuickBooks Online. Okay, when you import the, your Excel spreadsheet, should have these fields. Uh, the maximum one. Uh, the first one is name. These are the ones you can import. Name, company, email, phone, mobile, fax, website, street, city, state, zip, country, open balance. So if you, have, if you are importing AR open balance, this this is this is what they're talking about. Open balance and opening balance date and then the tax resale number okay so these are the uh, uh, limitations uh, so cannot exceed the 50 character limit so if you have a company more than 50 you have to cut it a little bit so 50 character limit and the date must be in this format year month and date so the A year is right here this is the one opening balance date this is this is where if you are using it so that the, the, the form has to be this way and uh, if you use the opening balance uh, it will post of course accounts civil as debit and sales income as credit sales is a default account and there's no way to change this account and the following fields will not import uh, shipping address, terms, payment method, uh, sub customer. If you have sub customer, then it won't import sub customer if it's just a flat uh, customers. And uh, uh, if you have a customer taxable uh, selected, it won't import that one. And then uh, preferred delivery method it's the uh, default type the print is the default one okay the spreadsheet it looks like this I got another one here okay uh, let's see if you can see it or not Just make it bigger a little bit Okay, let's see here. Let me make this bigger. Okay, so okay, so name, company. So this character, fifty limit. Email, phone, mobile, fax. Uh, website if you want street city state zip country opening balance opening balance date tax resale number so that's all you can import and if you want to import more uh, you can't do it you have to manually input it later on okay so so if you want to uh, download this file sample file you can do it from here is the link in here okay let's go to QuickBooks here oh this is our website by the way newqvo.com okay so I'm on uh, QuickBooks online homepage and to import customers list you go here this is left navigation bar customers okay and in here import customers so right here so left navigation bar customers import customers that's one way the other one way to, other way to do it is import data from here customers in right here so that here's the company gear import data customers or from left navigation bar from your customers home page and just pull down this arrow and import customers here okay and you can also get the sample file from here too and just browse it so find your uh, find your uh, sample 
Wow, I have it in here, import customers. Okay, so this is what you want, as you can see here. Hopefully you can see it, maybe bigger a little bit. Okay, as you can see here, this is the check mark you want. Right here. So this is the QuickBooks field, and this is your field from your spreadsheet. Right here, and you're ready to import. Okay, as you can see here, everything looks good. Everything looks good. And uh, uh, in here, if you have like a more than 50 character, it will give you a warning in here on import. Okay, let's say I want to expand it a little bit. And when you tr try to import, you're going to accept it. So you have to. Make it 50 character. Okay, so everything is good. And as you can see here, the opening balance date is like this. Make it is a little bit smaller. Right here, like this. Okay. Import. That was pretty fast. As you can see here, it's all imported. So this is the one we imported. Okay, as you can see here, uh, the shipping address is blank. You can't import that one. Terms, you can't import it. Payment method, you can't import it. And this preferred delivery method, print, is the default one. You can't change it. Let's go inside this customer screen right here. Uh, so sub customers if this is sub customer you have to do it here manually and let a customer like this same thing with this one and if this is a uh, uh, taxable then you have to come here and make this customer taxable so you have to do that manually uh, other than that uh, it will import everything and the notes, if you have notes, uh, you can't import that one either. So uh, so now the question is, uh, you imported this with uh, opening balance. Uh, what happens now? OK, let's go to reports in here. I'll just run one, one small report. I'll just run journal report for today. Actually, this was the opening balance, so you have to find that customer now okay it was on January 1 let's just say here we go so this is the one we imported. So it will create uh, account civil as debit, and the credit is right here, as you can see here. So it's basically created invoice, one invoice here, opening balance description. So this is how we import. We will create invoice, and date is right here. This is opening balance date, uh, and no terms. So that's how that's how we import. Okay, so everything looks good. So, so anyway, so uh, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, we are newkibio.com, and you can uh, uh, subscribe our YouTube. We have two channels: newkibio.com, PP controller, and we also have uh, Facebook, of course. So like us on Facebook. It's QuickBooks QBO, QuickBooks QBO, and if you still need to download that. Uh, Spreadsheet is right here. I'll leave this on for a few seconds. Thank you again. Bye.